Vegans receive more hate than anyone on the internet. And if you're a vegan, you definitely know that. And if you're a social media creator, oh, it just opens up the floodgates. Over the roughly nine years that I've been vegan, countless different hate videos have come out talking about how I'm deteriorating, what my skin looks like, what my hair looks like, what my voice sounds like, you name it someone has made a video about it. So usually the advice is do not feed the trolls, never respond to the haters. But for some reason lately, I've just been really enjoying stirring the pot with the carnivore and the vegan hate community. So today it's gonna be no different. Starting with a very simple, easy one. This one's called Brian Turner Vegan Deterioration on a throwaway channel called Joe Schmo. It's literally just a 10 second clip of all different photos of my face throughout the years that I've been on YouTube. And I'm assuming his point is that my face has gotten worse, but honestly, as I'm looking at all these photos, they look exactly the same. Am I seeing something different than you guys? Let me know. All right, now we're moving on to a guy who has made tons of different hate videos about me. This guy's name is Bobby's Perspective. Definitely a very problematic person. When you talk about toxic masculinity, this is the guy who shows up in the dictionary for it. All right, let's take a look at a couple of things he said as he's reviewing one of my old full day meetings. Brian Turner is the guy that tells us through a vegan diet he got rid of his acne, but you can still see that his skin is in a bad condition. One of the quickest ways for me to lose respect for someone instantly is when they attack other people's appearances. So it's funny because he's talking about my acne, which I don't even have in the video, so I don't really know what his point here is, but I will say he has made a lot of videos where he'll turn up the sharp, the detail on a picture of mine and be like, look at how many wrinkles this guy has. It's such a bad point because depending on the lighting, you can make someone look terrible or awesome. Just as an example, I'm gonna throw up a couple celebrity photos and I think we all know Anne Hathaway is absolutely gorgeous, but here's her without makeup and here's her with makeup. She's still beautiful, but some people would be like, oh, look, what's wrong with her diet? Here's a photo of Beyonce. I think everybody would agree that Beyonce is absolutely beautiful. Someone like Bobby's perspective would pick on their appearance and say, oh, that's proof that things aren't working well for this woman. It's a weak point, but don't worry. Sorry, these points get weaker. Let's keep going. But what I'm doing is I'm pulling with my right arm first Not and letting my left arm just after this. I did a little bit of cardio. I usually do it outside, but today. Who cares? Just... Not interesting. Who cares? It's funny because he's literally watching a bodybuilder's channel talking about bodybuilding. It's really dumb. Okay, and you have the nutritional yeast, or as the cool kids say nowadays, the nooch. Bobby talks really slowly, so I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit just for the sake of the video. On top to replicate the cheese, the dairy, right? And of course, we know that this comes from chili con carne. Traditionally, people ate this with meat. When meat was scarce, they ate a little bit meat still, and they substituted with a couple of beans. Of course, nobody would ever get the idea to eat only beans on a daily basis because it will wreck your gut lining, right? This is common sense. Is it common sense? Are beans really that bad for gut linings? I've been eating beans for years and have had zero problems at all. Ancient civilizations knew this. However, Brian wants to teach us that this is a healthy way of eating. The logic here is so weird. We're literally talking about chili, which is made of beans. Dude, people have been eating beans forever, for thousands of years. And people have been eating chili, I'm sure, for hundreds of years and had zero problems. Uh, uh, oh, and of course, taste test time. Yeah, taste test. Oh, and I put nutrition Spoiler, on the it's gonna taste shit. Stuff. It's a little extra protein. <laughs> you have to. Mm. It's delicious. Looks delicious. Mm, the uh, that's fantastic. Brian's gonna tell us that through nutritional yeast and corn, he's making gains. <laughs> oh man, okay, this is amazing. So he's, he's arguing that nutritional yeast, corn, chili, beans, all the stuff I'm eating doesn't build muscle, right? But then, how come I have muscle? Wait a minute! Yeah, so good. Crunchy and munchy. Why do vegans start to dance when they eat? This is another really common thing that Bobby does. He's, he's making fun of me for dancing and having a good time on camera. Because that is not cool. It is not what men do. This is the part where it's really toxic masculinity. There's no box that you should perform actions within. And if you veer from that acceptable set of reactions and personality traits that you are not a man. In fact, Following your true path, knowing exactly who you are and being unapologetic for it, that is a very masculine trait. Trying to make people like you by fitting into the parameters that they've set up, I would say that that means you don't truly know who you are and that itself is not a great trait. We've got 
Garlic, so we're probably gonna use garlic about again. Eight cloves. Man, your gut must be completely wrenched. So much garlic every day. This kills your brain cells. Just FYI. This is another thing that a lot of these hate videos have is these like really wild claims that they then don't back up. Like, what study are you referring to where garlic kills brain cells? <laughs> What? All right, we're moving on to the next video. And this is from a guy named Goatis. I've never heard of him before. He reminds me a lot of, of Severage or Sparage, but I don't think that this is him. I'm not really sure, but I'm really excited about this one because, well, let's just get into it. What's up, guys? I'm gonna watch Brian Turner's latest video. Full day of vegan eating for muscle. Welcome back to my channel for another full day of eating. You might hear a little bit of something, something in my throat here, in my voice. I have been sick for the last couple days. That's why I've been a little bit late. That's the soy. And of course you're sick. <laughs> That's the soy. And of course you're sick. Anytime a vegan is sick, it's because they're vegan. But people who aren't vegan, they never get sick. Like ever. Period. Zero. To it. Yesterday was my first day back to the gym, so today I want to take you through everything that I eat. Narcissistic vegan, drug addict. That's all that I see. Again, another anti-vegan carnivore person who is not into bodybuilding, watching a bodybuilder's channel, documenting his sports progress, saying it's boring, narcissistic. I don't know. I don't know what to say. At least I have a passion that doesn't involve hating on other people's passions. So I have my smoothie, my morning smoothie I have every day here. It's about two bananas, about a cup of pineapple, a little bit more of some strawberry, and then two to three bananas, sugar, pineapple, sugar, mango, soy milk, of course, that's what he heard, the voice. <laughs> One scoop of protein powder. They use those because they can't get any amino acids from whole plant foods. Cacao nibs, adrenaline, they're toxic. Hemp hearts, why? Nobody understands. So he goes in on the, the sugar from the fruits and then goes about how cacao nibs are, are toxic and then talks about how hemp hearts don't serve any purpose. Okay, bear with me here. He's making fun of how I'm eating when I don't think he's an athlete. I don't, I don't know, I don't know anything about this guy, but as an athlete, the way I eat is gonna be different, right? So I need a lot of carbohydrates and, and having sugar from fruit is completely fine for anybody, but especially athletes, you do need to refill your glycogen. That's something that you would know if you lift it. But don't take this the wrong way i just i'm having a really hard time taking criticisms from this guy seriously when he's talking like he has no energy and life is very boring and there's no color to his voice as, as if that is like the ideal pinnacle of what i am trying to embody i've always been really big on when someone's giving advice if there's someone that i look up to or i want to be more like or they have some sort of trait that i am you know trying to go after then it makes a lot of sense to listen to what they're saying but if none of those things are true and i don't want to be more like that person it's really hard to take what they're saying seriously this is some of the most boring shit I've ever watched. How can anybody watch workout videos and listen to somebody telling them how to do it? It's just so insane. Okay, so I think that clip is, is, is making it very clear to me. This guy does not lift. And so, yeah, it makes sense that he doesn't like watching lifting videos. But for the majority of people who are going to the gym, yeah, learning some tips about how to lift makes sense. Just like if I was watching a rugby channel, I wouldn't be like, why is this guy talking so much about how to throw a ball? It's so boring. Why are you on the channel, dude? <laughs> okay. What is that? Bread has sugar. Carbohydrates are sugar. Onions, pickled cucumbers. Does that build muscle in any way at all? Onions simply destroy the microorganisms in your gut. It makes it harder to digest any of the food you're eating. The fake sausages don't have anything to build muscle. There's nothing muscle building in any way at all, in any plants. But when you look at this especially, you can see that it's absolute garbage. How can anyone watch these videos and believe that he's building muscle eating this? How? Well, I think the way that somebody would watch these videos and then see if I'm building muscle is by seeing if I build muscle. Okay, look, I'm not, I'm not sitting here advocating that eating a, a bratwurst vegan sausage is like the most healthy and perfect muscle building meal, but to say that none of the ingredients in that meal build muscle at all is, is delusional, like he's saying, to take a, a word from his book. Obviously, protein is what directly builds muscle, but you also do need carbohydrates. That's what refills your glycogen, and that's what fuels the workout. Again, though, why is a guy who doesn't lift 
commenting about a guy who does lift and what is most optimal for that guy who's lifting. Okay, all that I saw in this video was mostly sugar, anti-nutrients, anti-nutrients, and soy. Nothing about it would make you build muscles which are made out of raw meat. Wait, did he just say that muscles are made out of raw meat? Hold on, dude. Whether you are into lifting or not, whether you're a carnivore or not, like you can't be that delusional to say that no one in the history of humankind has ever built muscle without being on a completely 100% carnivore diet, right? Like that would be insane. But again, man, someone who doesn't lift is commenting about what is best to build muscle. Okay, so there are a lot of these videos. I won't go into all of them. And I also don't really want to give all these guys a lot of attention. I assume probably some of them are gonna make some responses. It's just the way of the internet, right? Whenever you are passionate about something, whenever you love something, when you embody something, there's always gonna be someone on the sidelines trying to make fun of you, like crabs in a bucket, try to pull you down. Just try to take away your happiness because people who are not happy really, really hate seeing other people who are happy and are thriving. And I feel like that statement right there sums up the entire carnivore vegan hate community. It's just people who don't like seeing other people happy. So take bad out of context photos with bad lighting and, and make fun of my skin. You know, choose videos where I'm excited and I'm using the color and the inflection of my voice, unlike these guys who are talking down here to ensure that you know that they are men who never have any fun or any color in their voice. Take all those things out of context and make fun of me. Call me a soy boy. I am so thick skinned and so used to it. So I will be the poster boy of all of these vegan haters picking on somebody who's just living their life. All right guys, so I had to do one of these. I, I think if you've been following me for a long time, you've definitely seen me over the last couple of months kind of step into my villain arc and really just kind of, yeah, poke the bear, stir the pot. It's kind of fun. So if you enjoy these sassy clapbacks, I really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think about these hate videos about me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you beautiful people in the very next video. Peace. Heavy.